I've, I've told everybody, you want an OB, just don't go to Dr. Frey in Baytown. Just don't go to Dr. Frey. Don't, 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 don't go, go to Dr. Frey. Dr. Frey. Remember Maria Lopez's warning, because the Texas Medical Board, they don't seem to care. You need to get off my property. Are you? Right We've been fighting for justice for the women and babies this doctor is accused of scarring. Dr. Patricia Fry Murray, an OBGYN, running the Grace Women's Center in Baytown. Pretty Are you Dr. Fry? Private property. I would like to talk to you about. You will not record me. Call them. And our viewers have seen just some of the evidence we've turned over to the investigators in Austin. Six dark stitches were needed to close the gash on little Empress Lopez's forehead, just as she was delivered with a C-section. They didn't let me see my daughter. All they told me was she's cut, she got cut in the head. Um, I, I just started bawling, just shaking at that point because something went wrong. It wasn't a happy, a happy day how it was supposed to be. Um, it was just, it was really hard. Here's another infant brought into the world with an immediate scar. Here's another. You're not leaving. We are leaving. You're not going to leave with that. Oh, yeah, I am. Don't, really? don't, 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 don't make a mistake. You. We were deluged with complaints about Dr. Murray while we were investigating her husband, Bear Murray, and a place they ran called Swan Mansion inside Baytown city limits, advertised as a swingers place. Me and daughter swingers, as in to swing. We've seen some interesting reviews from the folks who stayed there. Thanks for the orgasms this couple wrote. And we couldn't just ignore the complaints about the woman we're calling the Queen of Swan Mansion. So we filed our complaint that blew up with more complaints from 29 former patients. It was first filed in May of 2022. I just want to implore you to act in a very significant way in this case. This is not a one-off. This is not a two-off. This is a doctor who has, um, has a pattern and practice of hurting women and the children they are delivering. After what we think was an incomplete investigation, the 16-member medical board dismissed our complaint with not even a slap on the wrist for the doctor. We appealed the decision this January, in part because the medical board investigators hadn't even talked to most of the complaining patients. And the medical board? They ignored evidence Dr. Murray was sending postpartum patients to her husband, saying he was a real medical doctor. Are you a licensed MD, by the way? Because in there they were calling you Dr. Murray. Are you a licensed medical doctor? The Texas Medical Board could clearly know this was going on. It was on the doctor's website. And in March of 2022, Bear Murray had agreed to stop holding himself out to be a licensed medical doctor in a cease and desist punishment. The board said he often pretended he was a doctor, but where did many of his patients come from? His wife operated the Grace Woman Center right next door to Swan Mansion. Boy, this is a tough case to crack, huh, medical board? What happened to the oath that they took? Because they were doctors before they were on that board. I want to know what happened to that oath. Because right now they are all in violation of that oath. I want to know if any of them on the board that dismissed us is a part of her swinger sex club and they have something they need to hide. You might have to bleep this out. It pisses me off. Are you fucking serious? This is the appeals rejection letter. No one ever asked us for any more information, testimony, even more complaints. We could have provided that. They claim there is insufficient evidence. I get the outrage because I'm mad as hell too. This woman has injured for profit so many people and for them to just dis dismiss all of these complaints is unreal. The Texas Medical Board is simply not protecting the public. I was born at night, I like to say, but not last night. When so many patients are complaining, something ain't right. The number of complaints, that should have been evidence enough. Because I know my experience and I wouldn't want anybody else to go through that.